my dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank good for my returning subscribers thank you so much for returning back here guys you don't know how i always smile when i read your comments because now i know your names <laughs> yeah because it has been years you commenting on my videos so when you comment i feel so happy to see your support be blessed guys and keep supporting me i promise to keep bringing good content to you all okay but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and you subscribe YouTube automatically will turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. So guys, in our today's video, I know you all are excited. You couldn't wait for me to upload this video because I promised you I'll be bringing the part two. So today's video is going to be part two, Linda's love story. And I told you in today's video, we'll have a lot to learn from her love story. Last time we learned from her past love relationship experience, but today we are learning more on her online dating journey. And for single mothers, oh my God, this video is for you. Cause most of the times you're like, Bella, I'm not finding love because I am a single mother. Or oh, I see some of you single mothers going for guys that... Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. One time, <laughs> there is a lady who sent me a photo of a guy that she was chatting to. When I looked at the photo, before even responding, she was laughing already. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Sometimes we'll be like, let me take anyone because I am a single mother. So in this video, we'll get to see how Linda behaved, reacted <laughs> to that being a single mother. But even if you're not a single mother, you are out there searching, this video will help you much, much, much. And without wasting much of your time, guys, we should get into this video right now. So friends, in the last video that I shared about Linda's love story, we ended whereby Linda found out that George is a married guy, had a wife and kids. And because Linda never wanted to be in that drama, never wanted to be a second wife, was like, I'm done, done, done with George. Yeah, so that is how it ended. So in today's video, we are continuing and Linda tells us after ending things with George, decided to concentrate on work and her son to give him the best life she could. She enrolled him in a private school and started a building project. So friends, Linda tells us all her money could either go to her son or to her building projects. She forgot herself. Dating wasn't even in her mind, especially dating a Zambian man. Why is that? Tells us most of her friends who were in marriages, their men could cheat on them or do not take up much of their responsibilities at home. So here she laughs and is like, Bella, literally, there were single women just like me, but married. <laughs> yeah, because if you're married, then you are taking all of the responsibilities at home. Let it be when it comes to finances. Let it be you're not taking care of the house, kids. You are single. And I was like, if I'm going to live that life, better be single. <laughs> Yeah, so Linda could see all that and adds that they could come with their marital issues to Linda and Linda could advise them to leave. But leaving was not an option. They never wanted to leave because they liked the title of being called Mrs. and the respect that came with it. Also, they were scared to be ridiculed 
when they leave their marriages and yet they were not happy so this encouraged Linda the more to stay away <laughs> from Zambian men, tells us sons of Solomons, as Zambian ladies call them. <laughs> so Linda is still talking of the whole situation of her friends. So few friends that she knew were happily married started talking, saying that cheating is normal. <laughs> oh my god how can you tolerate a guy who cheats i really don't know but for me i can't because i'm jealous i don't like sharing my man with any other woman but linda's friends could say that it's normal you know for a guy to cheat all men are like that and linda was like huh bella me i said no to that <laughs> was like i'd rather be alone and enjoy my peace of mind. Be free from diseases, though most mocked her and rejected her. Besides, Linda says her father was not like that. Her father was not a son of Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she was like, why should I settle for less? Also, never wanted to go again through what she went through in her past love relationships. And there is a time I told you guys, it reaches a point, things are here, you are done, 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 done. It's not that all white men are superior <laughs> than black guys or anything like that. No, it's due to the bad experience that you go through with these sons of Solomon's and you be like, no, it's either I remain single forever Oh, maybe I try a different race. <laughs> yeah, so Linda had reached that stage that I am done done with these sons of Solomon's Zambian men. I know that most single ladies watching this video, you guys are going to relate. I can relate when I was still single. Yeah, you reach a point and you'll be like, better be alone forever. Yeah, so Linda too was like that, but tells you, of course, loneliness kicks in at some point, especially when you go to work, then you come back home, you have no one to talk to about, you know, how your day went, the stress at work, it can frustrate you. And I told you guys that loneliness is something else. It is something else because you can sit there and start thinking and thinking and thinking, what will be of my life? Am I going to stay like this alone, get old alone? It starts scaring you and that's when the pressure comes in. <laughs> you start getting the pressure to find someone. So she tells us was financially independent at that time, managed to take her son to a good school, but was so lonely. So friends, Linda was alone and was feeling lonely. Then her birthday came. She was reaching 32 years old. Tells us on her birthday, it occurred to her that she was getting older and wasn't thinking about dating. Yes, had healed from her past love relationships, but tells us not to an extent of dating a Zambian man or an African man for that matter. And what you need to know is that it's not that Zambian men could not approach Linda, tells us they could approach her, you know, show interest in her, but could clearly immediately tell them that I am not interested <laughs> at all, at all, because for her, all Zambian men were the same. Yes, tells us, exist good Zambian men, but due to the culture that we come from, it didn't support that. So her life revolved around work and home. Also, this lady is an introvert, tells us, did not enjoy to go out. So it was going to be impossible for her to meet new people. And this time around, wanted to meet Caucasian men and men generally outside Zambia. 
So due to her being an introvert, but at the same time wanted someone in her life, that's when she started thinking about online dating. She knew online dating existed, but had no experience, zero experience guys. <laughs> yeah, so she went on Google and Googled online dating sites, dating apps, where to meet Caucasian men. And tells us, Bella, I was so naive <laughs> to think that all men that were on the dating sites, apps, were looking for a serious relationship. <laughs> Yes, I knew catfishing, scamming existed, but I didn't think a guy can go on online dating sites apps just to play games. So when she googled about dating sites, dating apps, where to meet Caucasian men, of course, Afro introductions was on the top list. Then Tinder, Bumble, and many other, for example, Match.com, Hinge, where she came to see that those ones were not in her location. So she decided to join Afro Introductions. <laughs> and when she joined Afro Introductions, tells us, cause had zero experience on online dating sites apps, didn't know it was possible to chat with a guy on Afro Introductions without paying. So Linda paid for three months and gave herself a time frame to look for a date or a match on Afro Introductions. So this thing of not having any experience on the dating sites, dating apps, <laughs> I've been seeing this a lot, you know, to ladies that come to me, they want some guidance. And you know, when you tell them what they are supposed to do, they really get excited. <laughs> They're like, oh my God, Bella, I can't wait to find that right guy. So what I always do, I always calm down the lady and tell her the truth about online dating world. Be like, when you join, you're going to come across one, two, three, four. And it's not a guarantee that when you join now, even if under my guidance, within a month, you find the one, or within two months, you find the one. Be ready for the challenges, but because I am here, of course, I'll be guiding you on what to do when you come across some situations. <laughs> and when they go, they come across those challenges, they come to me back again and be like, Bella, oh my God, you said it. What you told me, it is what I am experiencing now. <laughs> but for someone who doesn't have any guidance and she goes to the dating sites, of course, will be like Linda thinking that everyone there is looking for something serious. And once you start getting those challenges, you know, chatting with a guy, they ghost you or they ask you for nude pictures, <laughs> you start getting frustrated very early and that's when you give up and be like, it's not for me. I didn't know it was like that. So yeah, Linda paid on Afro introductions for three months and tells us the first guy she started chatting with was from Germany. This guy, his origin was from Cameroon. Yeah, but Linda decided to give him a chance because was like, I'm open to chat with guys who are not Zambian on this dating site. Yeah, so they chatted with this guy and as this guy was, you know, introducing himself about his life and everything, that is when he told Linda he had three kids. But not only that, he had three kids with three different women. Linda tells us on the dating sites apps was searching for an older guy, number one. Number two, wanted a single dad so that they can grow their kids together. But those us all was telling me, Bella, but not a man with three kids all from different women. So as I kept on chatting with him, it kept on reminding me of Zambian men of what I went through. And that's when I was like, no, this guy isn't for me. She had to cut him off. And he wasn't married too. So he had just those kids, but there was no marriage at all. So when that relationship ended, 
Linda kept on searching and tells us she could search per countries because knew there were countries that <laughs> if she had to relocate, she would never live in those countries. For example, Albania, Turkey, Croatia, it was a no for her just because of the things she knew about them from current affairs. So Linda kept on searching and tells us pretty soon noticed that some men would not reply to her messages even if they were online. You know, you see, he read your message, but he's not replying. Some could insult her or body shame her. And some were only interested in taking her out of the dating site and tell her to go maybe to Skype so that they can see questions so you have been facing all these you are continuing to relate with your situation i'm telling you this love story into details everything that she went through so that you guys get to relate so that it gets to inspire you that oh my god it's not that i'm ugly because some of you feel like you are ugly white guys are not interested in you maybe because you are short maybe because you're too tall maybe because you're too slim maybe you're dark skinned maybe you're light skinned it's not like that that's how online dating world is very few ones lucky ones don't go through challenges please please dear beautiful ladies keep hanging in there i am sure one day you will find the right guy i will be here telling your love story <laughs> So due to all those challenges that she was facing at that time, you know, some insulting her, some not responding, some telling her let's go to Skype, then they start stalking. <laughs> she came across a guy from the Netherlands. This guy was so interested in her, exchanged WhatsApp numbers. When she saw that was like, wow, this is good. Then they started talking. He did not immediately start talking about sex. That told her the guy is the one. <laughs> so they could chat every day, all day long. And this guy could send her photos, could send her voice notes of him, tells us, or oh, was telling me, Bella, I was already dreaming our wedding day. <laughs> How many of you can relate to this? Raise your hand. <laughs> when you chat with a guy, everything seems like going in the right direction you are already dreaming of your marriage of how you're going to be enjoying the goodies and all that so linda was already dreaming of their wedding day <laughs> she even decided to go back to afro introductions to check when was the last time that guy logged in and she found out that that guy logged in the last time when they exchanged whatsapp numbers oh my god that told her it is a good sign this guy is the one tells us when to an extent of changing her phone display to the one with him you can see how <laughs> this lady was already in love with the dutch guy so friends because everything was going well linda decided to take things to the next level and asked the Dutch guy for them to start doing voice calls because those us wasn't ready yet to do video calls with a guy that she had just met right away because she is shy <laughs> so when she told the Dutch guy about that at first she tells us he gave her a lame excuse that doesn't want to wake up the kids when she insisted what happened? <laughs> the husband-to-be, the guy she thought was going to marry her, blocked her. So at that time, did not understand why that guy blocked her. <laughs> but tells us after watching my videos later, <laughs> came to realize that it is probably that guy was still married or he was just a player. So after the Dutch guy blocked her, Linda went back to the dating sites and apps, continued searching, then came across a Norwegian guy. That Norwegian guy, when they chatted, 
on a dating site, he never wanted to exchange WhatsApp numbers, but told her to download a certain app where they will be chatting there. Remember, this lady doesn't have any experience, but you, my babies, that have been watching my videos, right now, I know. This is a red flag, Bella. <laughs> you are saying this as you watch the video. Yeah. So, Linda followed what the Norwegian guy told her. She downloaded the app, and they started talking there. They could chat and chat and chat. The guy wasn't ready for video calls or voice calls cause he was shy, but Linda was okay with it cause she was shy too. But tells us they could chat, they could voice call, the guy could send her photos in real time. So Linda liked the Norwegian guy so much and guys, when you like someone that much, you really want to know more about them. <laughs> so Linda started researching about his country and his people. That's when she came across a video on YouTube talking about Norway and Norwegian men, how they are so slow when it comes to a relationship, how they are so shy. Tells us took that as a validation to what he told her. So did not want to press him about video calling or exchange WhatsApp numbers. So guys, they used to talk a lot about his culture, his country, and his daughter, cause he had a daughter. So told Linda that him and the ex-wife, they do 50-50. The daughter stays with the mother for one week, and then the other week stays with the father. So Linda tells us she spent much of her time talking to this Norwegian guy, also made an effort to learn his language, how to greet in his language, and many other things. This lady was really into him. So as time kept on going, then they started talking of, you know, meeting. Of course, it is Linda that brought up the topic if he can visit her in Africa. Then he told her that at that time, he was not financially stable as his business was still recovering from the aftermath of the pandemic. So Linda had to Google about his business. Yes, it existed. Went on Facebook, Googled the guy, and yes, found some information about him. He was whom he said he was. So after Linda chatting with that Norwegian guy for five good months, suddenly the guy went offline without telling Linda anything. She was there thinking what happened to him, but didn't get an answer. Then after he reappeared, when he reappeared, he was like, oh, I'm sorry, Linda. I went to visit my parents, you know, in the countryside and there was no internet. That is why I was offline. Linda did not pay much attention to that and continued chatting with him. But if you are my baby or you are watching this video, guys, I got a comment recently that we don't need your opinion. <laughs> Tell us the story, but I'll still give you my opinion. Yes, so that you get to learn, so that when you come across these situations, you know how to behave, how to handle them. I told you, a guy who ghosts you once, he will do it again. So stay on that alert mode. When he comes back, Think of that reason he told you, but also be ready to be ghosted again. From Linda's story, we can see he disappeared, then came back. And as we continue with this story, you will see if this guy stayed or he disappeared again, just like I had told you when I give you the tips and tricks of online dating, that if he ghosts you once, he's going to ghost you again. If a guy starts talking of financial problems and he was online searching for love that guy is not serious because i told you if you're chatting with a lady who is in africa you just need to know that you'll have to take money out of your pocket you know to support that relationship for that relationship to work so when you come across a guy he tells you oh right now i'm not financially stable blah 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 <laughs> like 
He's not even showing you effort like, yes, right now I'm not stable, but maybe I'm very sure after a year, all will be fine. <laughs> I'll be able to come. No, he's telling you I'm not financially stable and I don't know when. Run! Run, girl! <laughs> but Linda kept on chatting with him, took him back when he returned and tells us did that because wanted things to work out with him. Also, did not have experience of an online dating of how online dating guys can be. So after chatting for a month, this Norwegian guy again disappeared on Linda. And at that time was really frustrated. Yeah, cause had wanted things to work out and started feeling even more lonelier. So as she became desperate to fill in the empty void to replace him. So she had to go back to online dating, but didn't find anyone. And tells us coincidentally, that's when her and her sister started talking about online dating. I told you her sister is my baby, <laughs> found love too online. So they started talking about online dating <laughs> and she didn't know her sister was searching for someone online. That was something like a relief to her that at least I have someone, you know, we can be talking about, <laughs> about the men we meet online and advise each other. So when she told her about the Norwegian guy, she told her there were so many red flags in that relationship. The reason why her sister, her younger sister, saw the red flags, it's because this lady was following me already, you know, was watching my videos. So that is why her eyes were wide open <laughs> compared to Linda. Linda didn't know anything. <laughs> yeah about the red flags or anything so the sister told her there are so many red flags with this norwegian guy he is not serious also advised her follow african bella and the advice she gives on youtube so linda tells us started defending the norwegian guy that no he is serious <laughs> and also tells us she thought what kind of advice can one give about online dating? So Linda did not follow me right away. So Linda kept on searching and eventually came across an American guy. And this American guy was younger, three years to Linda. Her preference was older men, but tells us due to the desperacy she had at that time to be with someone started settling for less. So when she met that American guy, all was fine. They exchanged WhatsApp numbers. They could video call, they could voice call. And for her, him doing that, it was a step forward compared to the guys she had met before who never wanted to video call or voice call. So they kept on talking, all was good until they started talking about meeting. So the American guy insisted that wanted Linda to be the one to first visit him in America. But again said, wanted Linda to go to America and when he arrives in America, gets pregnant. And that way she's going to remain there because she is carrying his child. Linda did not like that. Was like, I wasn't aware of the immigration laws, but I knew it was wrong. Me remaining there meant I was going to be an illegal immigrant. So she told the guy, no, if you're really interested in me, you have to be the one to come to Zambia first. <laughs> Do the things the right way, which was for him to pay the lobola, then get married, and then they start the visa process who had to reunite with him in America. When this guy heard about the lobola, oh my goodness, he freaked out and started being like, oh, that would be like me buying you, you know, I'll be owning you, blah, 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 blah. So Linda explained to him that it's like a token, you know, given to the parents, but <laughs> he still sticked on. Ah, it's like I'll be owning you and all that. Linda did not like the way he talked about the lobola. 
thing. But anyways, they kept on communicating and then he said he was going to buy an air ticket for Linda. But to Linda, it did not really sit good in her head. Like how would someone invest all that money to buy an air ticket, get you to America and still take care of you, whereby they can't do that before buying that ticket or before taking you to America. That's when she decided to put this guy on a test. So she strategically asked him for money <laughs> and told us that was 2022 Christmas period. So she told him wanted to buy something as a Christmas gift. Then the guy was like, I'm going to buy that thing and send it to you. But Linda insisted that he should send her the money so that she can buy that thing in Zambia. That is when the American guy blocked her. So guys, after the American guy blocking her, Linda tells us at that time was really tired of being on online dating apps, dating sites, just wanted to find someone. That's when she decided <laughs> to take a look at my YouTube channel. So friends, when Linda started watching my videos, tells us she got hooked up. <laughs> yeah, could watch every video that I share, the love stories, and tells us the love stories started, you know, encouraging her. She took a notebook, could write down every advice I could give, and the advice the ladies that shared their love stories could give. Also picked Jerry's strategy on sending 10 to 15 messages in a day, and that's also when she learned it was okay to chat with more than one man. Before I continue, I want to tell you that Linda followed every advice that I gave in this channel and that's why this lady succeeded. Yeah, she took my advice seriously. This is the truth, guys, and you'll get to know that as I keep on with the story till the end. So those us did not use that strategy of chatting with lots of guys at the same time because for her it was really difficult to pay to important details, you know, as you're chatting with someone. And also tells us is a lady who doesn't like small talks. So talking with lots of people at the same time for her, it was going to drive her crazy. Also says she followed the channels of the couples that I shared their love stories and listened to their advices, but with a pinch of salt, because tells us not everything that people display on social media is real, which is true. So beginning of 2023 declared to God that this is my year to find the right guy who will marry me. I am getting married this year. And after that, the Norwegian guy returned. When he returned, was like, I'm sorry, I'm ready to do things right, blah, 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 blah. But Linda told him, no, it's too late. I've decided to move on with my life. I'm not here for games because I know you are here just to play games. So she closed the door to the Norwegian guy and kept on searching. So as she kept on searching, kept on watching my videos, I remember her sister was on the same journey so she could share with her sister, you know, the men that she is chatting with at that time and the sister too could share, they could advise each other. The videos she could keep on watching success stories kept on encouraging her not to give up. Also, Linda took time to reflect on her journey, you know, her past relationships, the men that she met and the mistakes she made. And also she realized needed to bear the responsibility of her failed relationships. She tells us she never did her due diligence especially when it comes to the father of her child. So in retrospect, all the red flags were there, but she chose to ignore them until it was too late. I think I talked about this 
in the last video in her part one that as a woman too if you really want to move on you also need to learn from your past love relationship where you went wrong not went wrong to start being like i'm a bad woman or me meaning you're a bad woman no just where did you go wrong where did you ignore those red flags you know so linda says it's very important before you even go to search for a man to search for a relationship you need to know what you need in that relationship from the beginning is it just enough to be with someone or what expectations do you have as your relationship is concerned what would you tolerate or not tolerate you should also have a purpose or intent of that relationship is it marriage is it just to be in a relationship with someone for some time tells us also there is no harm in letting a guy at the beginning know what you expect in that relationship tells you it's never to let him know about your expectations what you want in that relationship how you want it to be because if they want the same thing then you'll be on the same page but if they don't want the same thing then at that time you will know and you'll just let them go and like i told you guys this lady is very very intelligent so she added that if you're going to have those expectations you know from the guy you should also do some self introspection if you can offer the same because you can't have lots of expectations in a guy and you've got nothing to offer to the guy or you can't offer the same thing you expect or you demand from a guy so talk to yourself <laughs> if the answer is yes then search for that look for that because you can offer same things so for her the most important thing in a relationship was openness and loyalty she tells us she is an open book and finds it very draining to deal with people who are not upfront she also adds that do not have that time to run after a grown-up man for his love so wanted someone who will put as much efforts and time in that relationship also wanted a guy who will accept her son as if he is his own because tells you if a guy comes and shows interest in you you are a single mother but doesn't care about your son then that man does not love you also as an introvert never wanted someone or to find a guy who will want to take them out of their comfort zone criticizing that she's too quiet or her hobbies of course these expectations need to be realistic also learned from the pervert she encountered online because <laughs> some would talk about an and tells us for her never thought a straight man could be talking about something like that until online <laughs> so in 2023 had to rewrite her profile change the photos i told you that's number one thing when you are online that you need to do if you need to see some changes you know <laughs> on your online dating journey so yeah linda did that also took some of the dating sites that i shared on my channel decided to give them a try but tells us tried out those that she was comfortable to use also her sister told her about f dating but for her f dating appeared unskilled amateurish <laughs> wasn't all that sure but decided to try it anyway <laughs> and see what happens so yes in january 2023 
tells us or was telling me Bella you know how it can be frustrating how it can be tiring at that time I was really tired of being on online dating sites dating apps and that's why I could take some breaks then come back also I decided to practice Jerry's strategy of sending 15 messages in a day so when she could feel energized could send 15 messages to new guys but when she could feel less energized could send five so she kept on doing like that and tells us the goal was not to get discouraged so this time cause had my advice her eyes were wide open <laughs> if a guy could come and then she could see they are incompatible could let the guy go if a guy could come and see that the guy is unsure could just block and move forward also followed my advice of not putting your heart into it all the time so from the beginning if a guy could come and they are chatting could want to know what they are really looking for so could strategically ask them questions questions that she knew could get some information and also get to learn about their personality guys i told you if you're dating a guy or you are chatting with a guy study him once you know how that guy is that relationship will work and if it works it will work forever but if you see that it can't work then it's true it won't work after learning his personality get to study him i repeat so that is what linda used to do so gives you an example met a german guy and after prying why he was interested in dating a lady from africa this german guy seemed like he really wanted a family or to start a family also wanted to further his studies so wanted someone who take care of his house <laughs> lena tells us some european men and their misconception about africa and african women because for him it seemed like a good deal because he is taking you out of poverty and offering you a good life sadly so linda tells us imagine if i was desperate and accepted to be with that guy probably i could have been turned into a housemaid some african women on the dating sites show these white men as if africa is a bad place and we are incapable of being independent taking care of ourselves also when linda talked to that german guy about the lobola this guy was like he was ready to pay but thought was going to pay very little money because she is a single mother not of a high value <laughs> plus she is not a virgin so single mothers are not virgin so men shouldn't pay high lobola so he was like if i'm going to pay i'm going to pay little lobola linda did not like that but another thing that really upset her is that the way the guy was talking about his son like he said he will be part of our family i'm going to accept him but he made it look like he was doing a favor on her taking care of another man's son so it's like he was going to do a favor on her <laughs> by marrying her linda eventually had to let go so from that german guy that was telling her would pay little lobola or thought he was going to pay little lobola <laughs> she ended everything and then came a greek guy so this guy from greece oh my god he was crazy for linda the guy was too fast and was like i want to come there get married to you and get you to greece you know we start living together <laughs> as husband and wife but linda told him that wasn't going to be all that easy plus she needs to take her time you know to get to know him but the guy kept on pressuring her insisting that 
he wants to marry her <laughs> but linda was like i think we need to take time get to know each other so that i can come in greece you know get to see your life the guy wasn't ready for that I was like no for me i want to get married to you and bring you here we stay together also seemed to imply that linda should just jump into that opportunity when a guy starts talking of you guys being together as an opportunity, as a deal, that you should take that deal, you should take that opportunity, girl, it's a red flag. <laughs> yeah, they have their own hidden agendas that you don't know about. So Linda stood her ground and told him, I don't want to be pressured. You'll have to first come here if you want. But from the way he kept on insisting and pressuring her, Linda sensed maybe that guy might be a safe tourist. Because when they talked, Linda told him, when you come here, I won't be giving you my goodies first. I still need to take time that is when the guy got super upset on her started insulting her saying that she is uncultured <laughs> and eventually blocked linda then after that greek guy oh my god this lady went through a lot and that's why i told you you are going to relate <laughs> and all these relationships i'm saying they are the relationships that linda thought they could work out they are the relationships that linda chatted with these guys for some time okay not a guy that you chat in two days and it's done no <laughs> if i am to talk even about those we'll talk till tomorrow this whole picture shows you how it is hard to find the one online but still not impossible guys don't give up those who listened to me now they are happy and telling me bella you said it <laughs> now i have found the one so after the greek guy came the danish guy and after chatting for that one week already that danish guy wanted to invite her to denmark but linda wasn't comfortable and told him you have to be the one to visit me first so they kept on talking and the danish guy told her he had three kids and had recently separated from the mother of his kids and another reason to why linda couldn't just travel in one week of getting to know him had to take care of son too but tells us that Danish guy didn't have much interest in her son. They kept on talking. They could video call every single night. Yeah, all was going well. And they even discussed to be girlfriend and boyfriend. Linda accepted. So one time as they were still talking, the kids came to visit. And when the kids came to visit, guess what? this guy never called linda on a video call like he used to do so the next day linda had to ask this guy like why didn't you call me the guy started giving excuses and was like no he couldn't talk even if he was in his room he couldn't make that call privacy you know and all those things i told you guys when i was giving the tips when you're chatting with a guy, he starts putting some boundaries. He starts telling you this is private. You can't know it. I can't tell you this. Just leave it as it is. It's a red flag that that guy is hiding something from you. Learn from Linda's story. So, cause from the time they started talking till that time, it had passed one month. Linda decided to tell this guy, let's go out of the dating sites. <laughs> and that's when this Danish guy started talking, it's not a big deal, like Linda was overhyping about it. <laughs> so Linda didn't like that and her instincts, I told you, trust your instincts, always listen to it. Don't ignore it, okay? <laughs> yeah, so Linda had to follow her instincts to go check on the dating app where they met if that guy is still there and to her surprise found out that 
the guy was still online even after being girlfriend and boyfriend even after chatting for one month even after talking that this guy was to go to zambia to visit her linda got hurt or super upset but told herself i won't ask this guy anything what i'm going to do i am going to also be online and show him indirectly that i am online that's what she did and when he found out linda was on the dating app where they met oh my god he got super upset and that's when he blocked her that's a narcissist you want to stay online and keep on playing games on me but i'm not supposed to go online and keep searching for the right guy because it is clear the guy wasn't the right guy <laughs> so it ended like that with the danish guy and guys that was linda's last challenge on the dating sites because the next guy that is coming oh my god he will be the one but i didn't think this video was going to be this long i see it is long already so guys we are stopping here again next time is exclusively linda and the one <laughs> the guy who is the one how it started oh my god it's so beautiful and how it all ended there is still a lot that you guys need to hear and learn from so for today let me end here we will continue next time part three which will be the last part thank you so much for your patience to watch till now be blessed guys i appreciate much <laughs> yeah please if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would like to know if you haven't subscribed can i ask you a question what are you waiting for please please let us grow this family and thank you so much for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.